Welcome guys to Express, I am Steven and I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the actual Google Cloud in order to transform everything, your business into the next level. So it's really, really easy to actually use Google Cloud for your actual business, whether you are like on your own as a freelancer or you are making like a company, a small company, a medium or huge company. It's a really, really great place to get started and you can get up to $300 to free credits for free usage for more than 20 products inside the actual Google Cloud. So what exactly are the products? Where exactly are the pricing, the solutions? We're gonna get that in a second. So first of all, what I want to do is to sign in with our actual Gmail account. And then later on, what I want to do is to locate the Get Started for free. So I'm gonna be getting, of course, a free version of Google Cloud for the next 30 days. So it's really, really important that you understand, guys, that if you are getting your 300 credit for free, this would be spent over the next 90 days. And later on, we need to uh, import a credit card to make sure that we are not a robot. Um, and of course, we're not going to get charges and all that. But this is just something we need to take in mind in order to continue. So now what I want to do is to hit my country. What better describes your organization or needs? Let's go and choose the actual United States. And here I want to choose that this is just a startup we have it or maybe this is a business idea this is a startup so I want to uh, try to be as much as great as I can so I can get like the actual uh, tools that I need to actually get started with the console of, of the Google Cloud so I want to read to the agree to the terms of service and hit now into continue there we go so first step has not been done the step number two is to make the payment information verification. So here we have a payment profile. What I need to do is to create a new payment profile. Here we have a profile typed, the legal name, our address, our own information. And then after that, you need to hit into create. And then later on, we need to hit into submit in order to just register. So as you can see, I wasn't charged for actually anything. Now it says the free trial includes 300 and credits to spend over the next 90 days to help us serve you better. Please answer four questions. So here, what brought to you to Google Cloud? I'm going to click here and let's go for learn about specific products, services and or APIs. So I'm going to choose this option and can hit now into next. And what are you interested in doing with Google Cloud? So here into Google Cloud, I use, I develop with my company. I wanted to figure it out how to make some data management. I'm going to be using some artificial intelligence. I'm going to be using websites. And since I don't have any application, store backups or game development, virtual machines, I don't want to focus on that. I just going to be focusing into these elements. And then later on, maybe I can focus even into the data analytics. analytics. And hit now into next. So this is totally depending on what is the actual company, what are you wanted to uh, do here into Google Cloud Platform, even if you're just getting started for one person. So in this role, I am the actual CEO president or the founder. So I want to look out for that one, or you can choose academic educator, security professional, um, solution, executive, whatever you want to. In that case, I want to go for the CEO and hit into done. So we are now have these hosting sections where we can start uh, up. So there's a monthly estimate that we're going to be paying for the actual Google Cloud platform. Once again, we have $300 with each month. So based on our interest, we they actually recommended the WordPress. We have LAMP stacked and we have Compute Engine. So WordPress is going to be helping us to make some blogs, simple websites, best for the low to the medium traffic and open source content management system. If I am actually interested in that, let's go for try this solution. And this one is going to be taking me to get started with my actual first project. It's going to be really, really easy to use this one. So this Google Cloud console has all of this application. We just need to use those to later on don't um, launch that, let's say, for making this it's an external way. So let's say, for example, you need to go directly from WordPress and then go back here into Google, make the integrations. Everything is going to be created inside Google Cloud. So here it says enable required APIs. The following APIs are required to deploy this product in the marketplace. So let's go and enable these three options. So it says in progress on the compute engine, the cloud deployment manager, and the cloud runtime configuration. If you don't know what is this, you can always uh, just locate your actual mouse 
and this symbol it says create and roll in virtual machines in Google Cloud. Here, this one locates and it provides services and configuration and view Google Cloud services and API templates. And this one uh, is going to be helping us to allow to dynamically configure and expose variable through Google Cloud platforms. So basically, we don't have to do uh, almost anything because we have automatic computing engine API from the actual Google Cloud. So we are now being covered, right? So we are actually covered from day number one. All right, so I now have the new WordPress deployment into my first project. So here's my ID, here's the start, and here's the all. I'm gonna hit now into cancel. And here have the deployment name. So here have WordPress. Let's go for WordPress and the name of your company, or only the initials. The zone, I wanted to locate this. I'm gonna scroll all my way up. Let's go for actually US Central, like this. And there we go. So deployment name only contain all the kernel. So I'm gonna just delete these options and hit into W. There we go. Now the machine type, let's focus into general purpose. This is like the workloads. It's gonna be optimized for cost and flexibility. So you can choose the E2, N2, and down here is gonna be pure the actual generation. So powered by Intel, Cascade Lake, and Ice Lake CPU platforms or CPU platform selection based on availability or powered by MDB platform. So choose the one that fits for you the best. I want to leave this like that. The actual um, default stuff that appears for WordPress. Now I have the machine typed. I have the E2 small. So the longer you have this, if I choose micro, for example, check it out the price, $239. If I choose these one, I have now 128. So let's go and focus into something really, really, really small because we don't want to focus a lot into a lot of memory since we are just getting started, right? So I want to choose, choose that option. If you disable this option or disable this one, check it out that the price does not change. And the boot disk, I'm going to scroll a little bit down and I have the actual balance persistent disk. So I want to accept these terms of service. I hit into deploy. Of course, I needed to add a custom Gmail account in order to make the deployment manager. And now here's my WordPress, the overview. And here is being deployed and I have the details. So as you can see, the provider, the Google Click to deploy is being doing this one really, really easy. So the site address is pending, the administrator URL is pending. What is left to be done is just to sign into our WordPress administrator user. If you go into the board that appears here, we have the navigation menu and we have the API services. We can enable different services, we have credentials. There is the marketplace, which is gonna be helping us to figure out what kind of other stuff can we do inside Google Cloud. For example, we have maps, we have virtual machines that we used it before. And here we have App Engine, Cloud Storage, Databrick, and much more operating system. So I think that we have now covered the basics into Google Cloud. I can totally suggest you to look out for a freelancer that can be helping you to administrate this part of Google Cloud. But this is really, really great to have this as your favor into your own company. So with that being said, guys, I think we have now covered the basics into Google Cloud. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to see more great tools about the Google Cloud, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And well, with that being said, guys, I will see you on the next video.